Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. For those who are new here, hello, hi, I'm Dion, a photographer here in New York, and I would like to urge you guys to come over to my social media, that's my Twitter, my IG, um, to check out my work and see what I do. It's all linked below for your convenience. Okay, so today we are doing another solo shoot for Mark of NCT fame. Um, this is a shoot he did for W Korea. What is it? It doesn't say what month this was, but it's a 2023. What month is this? Uh, oh, so right. I don't know. I'm not seeing what month this is, but it's in 2023 and it's Mark from NCT. So that's all we need to know. Um, it says here, Apollo Ralph Lauren collab. So that's, I'm sure they sponsored this whole thing. So that's what he's wearing. Um, the last one I did of Mark, I really love those photos. I think, especially with W Magazine, um, they do a really good job with the idols and the styling and the photography is always so good. I always get excited to do a W Magazine shoot every time because I'm like, they always slay. Every photo shoot, doesn't, doesn't matter what idol it is, it always looks so cool, so interesting, different from what they do with their concepts. So like, oh my gosh, so excuse me, y'all. Oh, excuse me. Oh. What's going on? <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so first image we have is the cover. I will say I do like Mark in this blonde, longer length of hair. Um, I think that out of all the members to do the long hair, I feel like we always see Yuta with hair this long a lot. We see, um, sometimes we see Tay and sometimes we have his hair a little bit longer like this. Um, who else? There's someone else. I guess Johnny. Johnny, but Johnny's hair is never styled like this. It's always like swooped or something. It's never like parted down the middle and like, kind of like, you know. Uh, but it's cool to see Mark in this style. We always see him in like a shorter uh, brown hair, but this blonde hair is very cool. I love this image. Now, I'm personally not a fan of nail art, nail polish. I don't like none of that. It just isn't my cup of tea. Um, you know how people get like they start itching or feel weird when they see a bunch of holes. That's how I feel about when I see, for the most part, when I see nail polish. I know it's weird. It's kind of weird to, you know, and it's only with like your regular nails. If you have acrylics on, like long nails, I don't mind it. But if you have your regular nails painted, I'm always like, oh, and especially when it's chipped, when the, when the, the nail polish is chipping, oh, I start to itch. I start to cringe. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. So for this whole shoot, I'm not going to comment on the nails, even though they'll be prominent, I'm, I'm sure. Um, but that's why I'm not commenting on it. If you guys were like wondering why I didn't mention the nails, I just can't. Next image. I absolutely love this. First of all, Mark got them cheekbones, low key. Low key, my dog got them sharp edges, them cheekbones and that jawline, that chin. He said bop, bop, bop to the top. Um, I love it. Now, as far as the styling goes, I really am into this like casual not suburban but like urban not urban what's the you know when you go well you see the movies where they're like on a dirt road and they do like a truck stop or like a gas station this is giving me gas station attendant vibes in the middle of nowhere that's what it's giving me i'm not sure what that area is called but that's what it's giving me especially with this setting with the you know these branches and stuff and with the outfit I love it all. It looks so good. Next image. Okay, first of all, brows. Come on, brows. And I love how they got him taking a selfie with the back camera. He can't even see himself, but he got to turn to himself. This is a good image. I really like it. I think it's very interesting that I use this one as one of uh, the covers. Wait, is it one? Of, yeah, it's one of the covers because the text is on there. Um, I like this one. But out of the three, I probably put that second one with the green shirt. But this one's a really good contender as well as far as a cover. Next image. Oh, speaking of the green, here's another uh, shot of him in this outfit. I love this, y'all. First of all, I like the composition. I like that we can see the sky. I love this kind of like slow tit tanted angle they decided to use on this picture. Um, again, I love the outfit and the setting. It looks so good. It reminds me of, what's that movie? I think it stars Kevin Bacon called Tremors, where there's like aliens under the ground or like that worm thing under the ground. It's kind of giving me that kind of vibe. Um, I'm here for it. And I love the warmness of the, of the photo as well. Really, really like it. Next image. I mean, 
I like it. I, you know, like, like I said, I don't like the nails, but like I like this picture. His eyes look cool. I love that direct, harsh flash. Um, and I kind of like this this hat a lot. It says "Respect Wildlife." Sportsmen respect wildlife. Come on, Ralph Lauren. I like this hat and the colors in it, and the trucker vibe, and that like that um this tartan jacket he has on. Um, it's very kind of like collegiate kind of vibe. Very at school. Uh, but also kind of like a rubble, especially with how they styled him in it. I like it. Next image. Yeah, definitely a cool rubble, you know, school uniform. Um, Right here we got his Adidas on with the Ralph. Uh, is, that, is that Adidas? Because only two stripes. Well, I guess it's technically three, but there's not. Wait, let me see. Well, it doesn't matter. His shoes look cool. The socks and the shorts. I like this outfit. I like the harsh flash. I like those these little lens flare everywhere. We're getting... I guess dark outside vibes. I mean to that. I actually did a shoot the other night yesterday actually, last night. Oh my god, the other night. Last night, why shot in the floor. Sorry guys, I have allergies and my eyes are burning. And I just took a Benadryl and they have not kicked in yet. So like don't mind. I keep I know I keep scratching my eye, but I probably should stop. Uh but anyways, uh I had a shoot last night in the forest. It was so scary, y'all. My friend, he is graduating from fashion school and his thesis is a collection, a six piece collection. And we shot it in a forest in Queens. He was determined to shoot there, unfortunately. But also, unfortunately, it rained on us. Yes, we only shot two looks. We had to redo it this Friday. And I'm like, ah. Uh. But it's okay, though. It was a, it was a cool experience. I, I'm learning to shoot at night now, which I never thought I would be doing. Especially like outdoors at night. Uh, but yeah, next image. Guys, I really, really like this. This jacket, these pants that go with it. His hair looks so cool, kind of like wet and kind of like, you know, um, not disheveled, but like, you know, he's leaning forward, so it's moving around. I like it. It's almost like a mullet, the way it's styled. It's not fully mullet because how it, how it is, the length of it, but like, I like how it's like, Tucked back a little bit, but it's kind of short on the side. I like this image. Next image. Yeah, um, I'm gonna need Mark to do this hairstyle more often. I'm gonna need him to dye this pink. Yeah, because I love this. First of all, the image itself, it's like I love the hair and everything, but like the image itself is giving. With this outfit, with this angle, with these the tree branch, the tree branches take it to another level. It may not be something that's so dynamic and like interesting but it, it is interesting look how cool this looks i feel like we're looking through some type of like orchard not orchard what i'm kind of thinking like a, like, a, like a forest not a what's that thing where you call a bunch of branches covering something it's kind of like i forgot what that's called though but anyways, we're looking through that i like it here it looks so cool so so unique this also could be one of the covers too if we're being, we're being honest, this could be one of the covers. Next image. Oh. I'm into this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love the light. It's bright, kind of almost kind of harsh lighting with the with the drums outside in the field. Obsessed. Obsessed. I love this. This is such a like I said before, they always do a great shoot with these idols. I they every time they hit it, every time it's a hit every time and i love it uh next image now i'm not sure who was in in charge of set design but kudos to them this whole shoe has been great i love this little set this little whatever this is this little fixture in the in the desert it's so cool to me and i love the framing and composition of this photo he's right here in the front but like we see everything else the backdrop and the this, well the, the setup and then the and then you see the rest of the desert it the combo of all that together is so top tier to me, and I love this outfit. This I love a little denim look. So like this is speaking to me personally. They better work. Next image, um, another hold on y'all, another banger. Oh, Mark better go off. I just realized that I keep thinking, um, in my mind I'm thinking like I don't remember Mark. When, when I do the NCT concept photos, but that's not true. I keep forgetting that he always be slaying it every time. 
And I feel like I'm looking through these photos right now. I feel like I'm surprised that he's slanted. And I, even though I just did a photo shoot review of him, a solo photo shoot, I'm just, I can't believe I'm so shocked that Mark is slammy, even though he is my bias in NCT. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why, why can I comprehend that Mark will slay? Like, it, it's, it's a given that he will slay a photo shoot. Like, I don't understand why I'm, in my mind I'm like, oh my gosh, Mark killing it. Ooh, I'm surprised. Why is that? Mm, I don't know. But I like this. Next image. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm into this. It's kind of like eerie with this angle being down here and those intense shadows on the side. Well, harsh light on the side and then shadows on the side. And like the how the background looks. It gives give me kind of eerie vibes, but not too eerie, obviously. Uh, and I'm kind of here for it. Um, I'm not sure what this is behind him, though. These, like, spark... Oh, wait. Okay, so they're in front of him. I don't know what this is, though. Is it rain? That's not rain. Mm. If you guys know what this is, let me know. What do you think it might be? Let me know below. Huh. Next image. Okay, so we have more of those, like, sparkle things. I'm not sure what this is. I guess I have to see... If you guys know... Um, if they posted behind the scenes, please link it below so I can check it out because I want to see the behind the scenes, especially about like I want I want to know about this this setup because what is this? Um, this picture is okay. I'm not I'm not a big fan of the framing him his arm being cut off on the side. I'm not a big fan of that, but it, it is cool looking. So like work. Okay, so now we're at the end. Let's pick out our favorite photo, and I think my favorite photo was going to be the one of him sitting down. Yeah, I love this one so, uh, so much. This is so good, right? I love this. This is something I would do too, honestly. I would do like a little, this composition as well. So that's why I probably, oh my God, touch my eye. Stop touching my eye. Ah, sorry guys, these allergies are killing me. Um, You guys, let me know below which one is your favorite image out of the whole photo shoot. Um, and let me know why. Why you like it so much? Is it because of how the lighting looks, the outfit, how Mark's hair look? Like, let me know what the reason is. You pick your favorite. Um, if there's any other Mark photo, photo shoots or any other photo shoots from NCT that you want me to check out, let me know below. And if you've done so already, please subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.